So, you want to learn how to build a deck around the card paper. The almighty card that does nothing unless some other cards help it do something. I can help you with that. So there are only so many cards that help the card paper specifically, and I don't have all of them, but I'm still going to show you everything that you can and should use to fill a deck. And by the end of this, I'm going to have to use some weird filler cards for the game, but I'll still show you how to build a deck for this card. So you've got paper, which is a card that only improves when other cards improve it, such as Orpheus. When returned to the deck, paper gains 15 power for the rest of the game, even if it's in your deck. That's very important. Aplesia. When drawn, reduce the energy cost of two random cards in your hand by three this turn and give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 16 power for the rest of the game. Again, fantastic for paper. Postman Butterfly. When returned to the deck, give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 20 until played. The Alphabet. When played, give all of your cards plus five power this turn and give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 20 power until played. You see where this is going? Mary Fields. When return to the deck, give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 30 power for the rest of the game. Latin. When return to the deck, reduce the energy cost of paper, even if it's in your deck, by two for the rest of the game. The printing press. When drawn, give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 30 power for the rest of the game. Da Vinci's fighting vehicle. When drawn, give paper, even if it's in your deck, plus 20 power for the rest of the game. So those are all of the cards that target paper specifically. Specifically, and if you played all of those before you played paper, paper would only cost about four energy and would do a little over 150 power, which is amazing. And that's only if you played those cards once before you played paper. If you kept playing those, you could just keep stacking paper. By round five, paper could be over 300 power. That being said, you still need to fill the deck, so what cards can you use to keep assisting paper? Artificial intelligence. When drawn, give your common and rare ingenious invention cards, which paper is, even if they're in the deck, plus 18 power for the rest of the game. There are a couple of cards in here that help in genius invention cards, which I think is fantastic because it'll assist both them because they are ingenious inventions, as well as helping paper. Sliced bread. When drawn, give your ingenious inventions cards plus 26 power this turn. So if you have paper, it'll help paper. And if you don't have paper, it's going to give itself 26 power. Steam engine. When returned to your deck, if you won this turn, give your ingenious inventions cards, even if they're in the deck, plus 10 power until played. Also, I'm going to suggest two of my favorite cards to use here. The set of all sets. Well in your hand, at the start of each turn, give this and a random other card in your hand plus seven power for the rest of the game. That stacks. Every single turn, this card and some other card in your hand gains seven power for the rest of the game. If paper is in your hand, when this is in your hand, paper could just be getting an additional seven power just for being in your hand. Traffic lights. Well in your hand, at the start of each turn, give this card plus 12 power until play. Look, that one might not be helping paper, but it is an ingenious invention, and it's going to be giving itself power while it's sitting in your hand. Dead Drops. When drawn, give a random card in your hand plus 50 power and give this card minus 50 power this turn. This one could be a hit or miss to help paper specifically depending on when you want to play paper. And keep in mind, if you play paper, it's going to keep a lot of the power that you've built up for it, so that's not going to go away because you played it, so don't be afraid to play it when it's only at like 100 power. Earth. When drawn, gain 4 energy. Wind Power. When drawn, receive six energy. Those two are in there just because I think it's very useful in this deck that you keep pumping out as many of those cards to help paper as often as possible. And the way you're going to do that is with a lot of energy, which is why for my filler deck, I'm also going to be using cards such as nuclear power when played, receive one energy per turn for the rest of the game. The big bang when played, gain one energy per turn until game end and artificial heart. Well, in your hand, this card generates one energy per turn. The Wright brothers, when drawn, give your science cards plus 10 power until they're played. At this point, you're just trying to help paper any way you can, and because it's also a science card, this is gonna help it. Biodiesel. When played, give your science cards in your hand 16 power, and give your energy cards an extra 7 power until played. Pretty specific, but at this point, you kind of need to find the specific ones to help paper. Leonardo da Vinci. When played, give all of your science cards plus 26 power until they're played. Even if this isn't helping paper directly, it's helping your science cards, and if you can assist that deck in any way possible, great. Also, if you have the card Eureka, that seems pretty good. When returned to the deck, give all of your science cards, even if they're in the deck, plus 16 power for the rest of the round. If you won this turn, give all of your cards in your hand plus 10 power until played. Anything that can boost the hand or the deck or science cards is a fantastic add if you need to fill the deck. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using as my filler deck because I don't have all of the cards that I listed 
off, but we're gonna see if paper can work in a deck with these cards. Just as an example, why not? You deserve it. Also, stop looking at Frog up there in the corner. He's a personal note. You don't need to know about Frog. Frog and I go way back, but it's between Frog and I. Get your eyes off my Frog. I've always been interested in building a paper deck, but I've never done it. I've never tested it. That's why I don't have all the cards for it. Round one, a history arena. All right, so not get an arena bonus. That's totally fine, but we've got paper in our hand immediately, which I'm so on board with, and it's already getting 20 power, and it almost could have gotten seven more. That's fine. We want to keep that card in our hand. We've also got the alphabet, which when played is going to boost paper. So of course we want to play the alphabet. And since Da Vinci is in our hand and it's already used its effect, we want to get that out of our hand. And so now we're already doing 83 damage to start the game. Not terrible. We're clearly not going to win this turn, but that's totally okay. All right. Printing press. When drawn, paper is going up 30. Paper, mind you, by the second turn is already at 77 power. That's how strong paper can get that fast. Mary Fields is only going to help Paper win return to the deck, so I'm going to play Mary Fields. It's not going to really get us anywhere. That's not fantastic. So we're still down and out for the count right now. That's not groovy. All right, after Set of All Sets acts up again, it doesn't hit Paper directly, but Paper's already at 100 power, which is fantastic. You could use Paper at this point to try and win the round, but I don't think it'll win the round, so I'm going to play Postman Butterfly to keep building Paper, save a little bit of energy, let him win. Yes, I would not have won because I only would have done about 100 damage. Paper's already at 120 power. At this point, now I'm just really excited and waiting for the card that's going to make it cost less to play, which I just got. So we're going to play that. Oh, but we could also get this card out of our hand. No, I'm just going to play this. Let's get two of these out of our way. He started off small, which means that I am actually going to take the lead. That's fantastic. And it's going to bring some energy back down. I'm going to be gaining energy now thanks to Artificial Heart. The Wright Brothers is going to boost the fact that I have science cards. Paper is doing A-OK -okay right now. This is amazing. Let's play Paper once and set of all sets. Why the heck not? Let's do some dirty damage. And I've got a pretty strong strong lead. Okay, so Traffic Lights has now boosted itself, and it's at 36. I don't have to play it right now, and it can just keep gaining 12. That's good by me. I have enough energy to get rid of this card, so I'm going to do it. All right, so we walk away with a win in round two. That's fantastic. We've played Paper once. Expect Paper back in round four, I believe, which I am very excited for. My ingenious inventions are getting boosted. Traffic Lights is already doing very well. The Wright Brothers is also doing pretty dang well. I'm going to play the Wright Brothers. Get the Wright Brothers out of my hand. That's 90 power to start right off the bat. He's got a little bit of a boost so he's gonna take the lead on the turn but i think that i can come back all right i'm getting dead drops what are you helping what are you helping you helped traffic lights which is gonna boost itself which is fantastic so now traffic lights is at 120 power might as well just call this deck paper and traffic lights deck all right we're gonna play traffic lights because we need the boost that we can get that is a wild time to be doing that okay so it took away 50 power from itself thank goodness traffic lights is just gonna keep me slightly in the game so i might be able to win this one i don't know what to do here this is the first time I've really walked myself into a corner. And as you can see, I have 11 energy and this is kind of the reason why I wanted to get cards that could get me energy back is because I don't really have anything paper specific in my hand right now. I can do this to try and help my science cards. And by doing that, I think I can play artificial heart and boost myself a little bit, hopefully enough to win the round. Drop me down, but I think that I still come away with the lead. Second win, round three. Let's go into round four where hopefully if I get enough cards out of my hand, I will get paper back. Okay. So Orpheus is going to help paper whether it's in my deck or not. So I'm going to play Orpheus right now because it's cheap. And then Big Bang is going to give me an energy per turn until the game ends when I play it. So I'm going to play it now. Not doing a lot of damage, but that's not exactly what I'm aiming for here right now. See, we're already assisting paper again. I drew this, which means that paper just got another 20 power, even though it's in my deck. And if I play this card, paper's going to go up again as well. So I'm going to play this card to help paper. And I'm going to play this to help my science cards. All right, 107. We're going to barely have the lead on this turn. And I'm going to have eight energy to do something. Do I get paper back? Not yet. That's okay. We'll wait until maybe round five if I don't pull this off. So what do we want to do just to see? I'm just going to boost paper. That's it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of playing the long game here. I want to lose this round because I want, I want to bring paper back. So I lost, but it might've been on purpose. We're going into round five, the final round with 11 energy to start. Yes. Okay. So this is going to drop paper by two again. So we want to get that out there. And when this returns to the deck, paper is going to be stronger. So we're going to get that out there as well. So now when we find paper, paper is only going to cost two. I'm very excited to see how much power paper has. Oh, baby. Okay, so we still have the lead. Paper, paper. Woo, baby. It costs two energy and it does two, two, two. All right, that's pretty neat. Well, do I even need to play it right now? No, I don't really need to play it right now. Let's just freaking get you and you out of my hand and save him for the final because that's a, that's a pretty good final jab. Let's see if we just get another card to boost it up. 
Just a little bit. It only costs two energy, which I have, so this is fantastic. Do you hit paper? You don't. You gave it to Dead Drops. Dead Drops didn't need it. I can do that, which feels very good. And then I can do this, which also feels very good. Look at that damage. Oh, he has no idea. He was trying to do just enough, didn't even realize that the whole paper deck works perfectly with me missing a bunch of the cards that help paper specifically. This is me even missing artificial intelligence, which helps ingenious inventions. This is me missing a handful of the cards that I just showed you. I had like eight of the first cards that I showed you and then earth and wind power, which I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see pop up here. And then it might not be in here. I didn't double check what's in my deck. Let me double check what's in my deck. Huh, no, earth and wind power are not in there. That's kind of on me. <laughs> but it says something that I was able to win without them. I think personally, if you have wind and earth power to gain energy or a card like big bang or nuclear power that can just give you energy per turn, even though it's only one energy per turn, that's gonna be okay. Clearly paper can be very strong, especially if you get to use all of the cards that can potentially boost its power, even when it's in the deck. Even if you're missing all of those, and you saw the example of a deck that I used with paper, paper can get very good. I didn't have to lose round four, but I chose to, to show you how far paper had come along. And paper had come such a long way, I'm such a proud parent. That being said, if you think that you have a hidden trick to making a paper deck even better, let me know. If you have any other suggestions of a deck that you'd like to see built around a specific card or theme or whatnot, let me know. I have a couple of fun ideas for deck builds coming up, so look out for those. If you like what you saw, let me know. Leave comments below about what you like, what you didn't like, what cards you like, what cards you don't like. Subscribe if you want more. Go check out the Discord. The link's in the description down below. I'm glad you found this video. I'm glad you like cue cards or at least know about it now because cue cards is an amazing game. And that being said, I will see you in the next video.